started farming on this farm in 1945. We started out on the farm uh, with six cows, and we had room for 12 in our old barn, so we soon got up to 12 cows. My dad, Norman, uh, has done his share of work in his day. He still shows up every morning at 87 in Scrape's barnyard. Without fail, he will be here. We used to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning to milk our cows here. The reason I started to do that is on a kind of, I always hauled milk. And when I was alone here by myself, just my wife and I, I had to milk the cows and run the milk route, do my chores, and plant the corn. So I was pretty busy. I started here in 1970, March of 1970. We got married in, in October of, of 70, and I've been here for 41 years, and we've hauled milk, we've had chickens, and we fed calves, baled hay. You name it, we've done it. <laughs> Norbert Farms got his name from my grandpa and my grandma. My grandpa is Norman, obviously, and my grandma, she was involved in the operation as well up until when she died back in 1995, and her name is Bertha, so we have Norbert Farms. They started out milking six cows by hand in stanchions under the barn. We farm uh, a thousand acres of corn and soybeans, uh, about 700 acres of corn, 300 and maybe 30 acres of uh, soybeans, and about 80 acres of hay. And we've probably got about maybe 170 milk cows. Total amount of livestock that we have is about 320, consists of the milk cows and the heifers and the baby calves. Rolling herd average is, is 27,900. Averaging right about 90 pounds of milk on about 3.1 milkings a day. In 2000, a coverall hoop barn was uh, constructed, which was used for our calves, our baby calves. They, we had indoor hutches then, so no longer needed the outside hutches. And it's really nice in the winter to be inside feeding the calves. <laughs> no frozen waters. <laughs> we installed an automatic calf feeder in 2009, which really cut our labors in the calf barn. About I don't know, 14, 15 years ago, they went to the Netherlands. And Roger came home uh, all excited and thinks we ought to put in robots. And I said, Roger, just forget that. No way. They will not work. Them cows will kick them off and they just won't work. But then as time went on, I hear stories about robots. I went to see what well, I had to change my mind. And, Roger was right, and so, and I, 
you don't you don't admit that much to your son-in-law. <laughs> built the uh, parlor that was used up until the robots went into operation in August of 2010. Other than the parlor that was installed in 1969, the robots has probably been the biggest transition that the farm has seen. Cave Sales and Services, who installed it, our Laley uh, dealer, and they were with us every step of the way here, helping the builders as they did the construction, you know, for the robots where they would be placed. Um, and then they also brought in a crew that helped us during the first week for startup. It was a lot of hard work, but it's really paid off in the end. The biggest reason that we chose Laley um, it's just their track record. That is one of their specialties is the robotic milking um, and the service that they had behind it. Not just our local service person, but Laley in general, they have any problems we've had, they have addressed, addressed quickly. We were either going to have to hire help or do something else, and um, this way we could still be in the office and have more flexibility and time to do other things as opposed to milking. It really helps on your time. I, I mean, I don't like to get up very early now. And the cows are stress-free, which is nice. It's give us more uh flexibility what we can do now. A long ways from when I milk 12 cows with the robots. So we have here the fourth generation of Norbert Farms. We have Dalton who is nine, Brianne who is three, and Dylan who is just about to turn seven. And they all really enjoy their time here on the farm. Um, Love the calves, the cows, the cats. I think they enjoy every aspect of the farm. Enjoy helping us out, sweeping or feeding. Um, you name it, they like it. They've developed a real love for the showing of the animals when we go to open shows and stuff. And uh, this year is Dalton's first year of 4-H. And he's just dying to go to the World Dairy Expo and show. <laughs> June, 
we hosted the June Dairy Month um, brunch on the farm for the American Dairy Association of Indiana and the Dairy Nutrition Council to educate the public of what the dairy farmer does, the products that we produce, and the safety. They got to see the robotics in action, which everyone was very impressed with that and how that worked. I like what I like what I ended up doing. You know, I like what I'm doing all my life. You know, I like a lot of farmers. A lot of them don't like milking cows, but I've always liked them. You know, that's the end of my story. So I'll keep quiet. And anybody else want my chair? Who do you want to interview next?